Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a, a super easy way to multiply any two given matrices. So let's look at this very first example. We have two matrices and we want to multiply them. So we must follow a flow chart. So the flow chart for the left hand side matrix is going to be always from left to right. Always keep in your mind. And for the right hand side matrix, the flow chart goes from top to bottom. So once again, from left to right and then top to bottom. Just keep in your mind and that's going to save you a lot of hassle. So when we multiply, so we're going to be looking at this very first row on the left hand side matrix. Since this goes from left to right, so we are looking at the row. We're going to multiply this row with the very first column on the right hand side, which is top to bottom. This is what it is going to be. So whenever you multiply this row with this column, always make sure that your first number is going to multiply with the first one and second with the second. So that is going to be always our rule. So we're going to multiply three times four. So I'm going to put down three times four. I want you to just put down and then always put a plus sign in between and then second with the second means what? Five times what? One. Do you see that one? Once we did that one, we are done with this first column. We're going to multiply this row with the second column, which is what? Two, seven. Exactly same way. Once again, first with the first second with the second. So let's go ahead and put down three. Always put a space in between when you are uh, starting with the next column. So three right here times two. Okay. And then you put a plus sign in between. And then next one is what? Second with the second. That means five times seven. That's all you have to do. Once we are done with this, this row has been multiplied with all the columns on the right hand side. We are simply done. We can throw this one away. We can discard it and we're going to start the same process with the next row, which is what? Eight, six. For, we're going to multiply this row with the first column once again. First with the first, second with the second. So I'm going to put down eight times what? Four. And then always put a plus sign. And then six times one. So you just put down six times one. So once we are done with this first column, we're going to multiply this one to the next column. So that's what we're going to do right now over here. So I want you to multiply first with a first. That means 8 times what? 2. And then always put a plus sign in between. And then second, which is what? 6 times what? 7. So we are pretty much done with these multiplication. We just need to multiply and add those one up. Just simple simplification. So let's go ahead and do this thing. That's going to be how much? 3 times 4 plus 5 times 1 is 5. So 12 plus 5. And then this is going to be a 6 plus 35. And this is going to be a 32 plus 6. And finally, this is 16 plus 42. So let's add them up and we're going to get our answer. This is going to be a what? 17. This is going to be a 41. And this is going to be 38. 
and this is going to be 58 and that is called our answer matrix or sometimes we call it resultant matrix so that's our answer now we're going to look at it when any two given matrices are compatible for multiplication so in other words when we can multiply them when it's possible and when it is not possible let's look at very first example we want to multiply b times d now is it possible to multiply let's look at the dimension for b is what 2 by 3 and d is 3 by 3 the always the rule is this one your inside numbers are what 3 and 3 as long as your inside numbers are same then of course yes you can multiply them look at the next example c times b their inside numbers are what 2 and 2 they are same isn't it so that means yes we can multiply these two matrices as well how about in the next example a times d what are your inside numbers 2 and 3 are they same no they are not so that means it is not possible to multiply these two matrices now another thing i want to make sure just keep in your mind that your outside numbers are what two and what three so this becomes two by three is gonna be the dimension of your answer matrix so this is gonna be dimension of our answer our resultant matrix so how about this one over here this three and three so this three by three is gonna be once again dimension of our answer matrix that's all you have to do and we know this is not possible now let's go ahead and work this problem multiply this two matrices together right now so we have what b times c first of all ask yourself can you multiply these two matrices yes by that rule that i have just shown you yes you can multiply because their inside numbers are same so let's go ahead and multiply what is our flow chart flow chart for the left hand side matrix is going to be from left to right and the for the right hand side matrix is going to be top to bottom so let's look at this one over at the very first row on the left hand side we want to multiply with the very first column on the right hand side always first with the first second with the second third with the third this is going to be our rule so first i'm going to multiply negative one with the first which is what one plus second with the second which is what eight times what negative three plus i want you to multiply third with the third which is what negative nine times zero do you see that thing so once we have multiplied this thing i want you to go ahead and multiply the same row with the second column now exactly same way once again first with the first second with the second third with the third so that's the way we're gonna do i want you to put a space and let's do this thing negative one times two i want you to put down negative one times two plus eight times four plus negative nine times what five and once we have done this one 
So this row has been multiplied with both all of these columns. We no longer need this row. Throw this thing away. So we're going to start the process with the next row now. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to multiply this row with the first column and then the very same row with the next column. So let's go ahead and multiply the second row with the first column. Once again, first with the first number, second with the second, third with the third. So that's going to be how much? 0 times 1 plus negative 7 times negative 3 plus 6 times what? 0. So we are done with this thing. Now we're going to multiply with the second column. So once again, first with the first, second number with the second, third with the third. So this is going to be how much? 0 times 2 plus negative 7 times 4 plus 6 times what? 5. So this is what we did. So the next thing what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and multiply and add them up. So this is going to be how much? This is going to be a negative 1 you can see this is this is going to be simply what negative 1 plus this is going to be a negative 24 plus this is 0 negative 9 times 0 so this is again is going to be what negative 2 plus 32 plus what negative 45 let's do the next one so this is going to be a what 0 plus 21 plus what? 0 and finally this is going to be what? 0 plus negative 28 plus what? 30. So the final step is just add and subtract. So that is going to give us negative 25. You can see that one. That is going to give us negative 25. Here you can see this is what? Negative 15. If you negative 2 plus 32 and that's going to give you what? Negative 15. And here it's going to give you what? 21. And finally this is going to give you simply what? 2. So this is our answer matrix. Now let me ask you what is the dimension of this answer matrix is what? 2 by 2. And look at over here on this side over here. This outside numbers are what? 2 and 2. So this 2 and 2 tells you that 2 by 2 is going to be the dimension of our answer matrix, isn't it? That's what we got. And finally, look at this example. We want to multiply these two matrices B times D, which I have already put it down over here. And once again, B times D, their multiplication is possible since their two inside numbers are same. Yes, we can multiply them. So once again, what we did is we took the, the flow chart goes from what? Left to right for the left hand side matrix and top to bottom for the right hand side matrix. So what we're going to do is right now I want you to whenever you are multiplying over here get the first row multiply with the first column on the right hand side and that's what we got. You can see these ones exactly same way. Once you are done this thing then we're going to multiply with the next column as you can see this one all these numbers whenever you multiply first with the first second with the second third with the third and you have to add them up and finally you multiply with this one likewise that is what you got over here once you have exhausted this one this row with all these three columns then I want you to throw them away and start the process with the next row 
and then do the same process all over again. This row with the first column, that's what we got right up here. This row with the second column, we got this one right up here. And then this row with the third column, this is what we got. Next thing is we just simplify, multiply, and divide. And simplified uh, addition and subtraction, whatever. And finally, we got this our answer. And our dimension for this answer matrix turns out to be what? 2 by 3 and as you can look at the outside numbers are what 2 and 3 isn't it so 2 and 3 tells you that 2 by 3 is going to be the dimension of our what answer matrix and that's what it turns out to be i know it is a long kind of tutorial but I want to make sure that you get each and every step. Thanks for watching.